Well, how did I get to know Ralph Perk? I first met him before I was in any public office. I was a late teacher at Lord Academy, and I was teaching at Community College, English, Speech, and Drama. And I saw all these kids in my neighborhood. I still live in the same house on West 30th in what we call Ohio City now. Um, and all these kids were roaming around all summer long with nothing to do. So a group of us started a program for children in the arts. And it was going strong. We started it that summer. And we were finally arriving at the Christmas program. And Ralph Perk had just been elected mayor that November. And so I said, you know, we ought to invite the mayor. We heard he likes to sing which of course we know he did, took lessons, but he probably could have taught them. Anyway, so we invited the mayor to come to our children's program, which was a little play and some Christmas songs, etc. And what do you think happens? He shows up for the program. And he says, can I sing with the children? And they said, sure. And so we still have pictures of that where Ralph Perk came to our Christmas program and sang with the children and the grown-ups as a newly elected mayor of Cleveland. Um, and the kids mirrored the diversity of the city. And he said, you know what, I love the fact that these children are here. And I'm going to help this neighborhood and all the neighborhoods in Cleveland because I love my own neighborhood. And he lived in that house for most of his life, didn't he? A good part of his life uh, in the Slavic Village area, as some of us stay in Cleveland. Um, and so that's how I first met him. And so then in the, in the mid-70s, I decided to run with a, a lot of help for Cleveland City Council. And with a lot of volunteerism, uh, we won. And the first day on the job, Ralph Perk asked to see me. And I thought, wow, uh, I might be able to go in the mayor's office, which if you've never been there, it's a beautiful office. Cleveland City Hall is gorgeous. But anyway, uh, he asked to see me, and he said, I remembered you, because I remember you asked me a couple years ago to come to your children's program. Do you still have it? And I said, well, it's still going on. But obviously, I had to give it up. Well, during my three years in city council, those were the good old days. We all were together. They better remember that in Congress, don't you think? Uh, but anyway, on both sides of the aisle. Um, and I remember how accessible Mayor Perk was. I could ask him, I could ask for an appointment, and ten minutes later, if he was in his office, and I was a new member of Congress, Council, rather, he, he would see me, and he cared. And I remember that all of us were Democrats except one, Ralph Perk Jr., who was not in, I used to say to George Forbes, why don't we invite Ralph to our caucus meetings? I mean, it's kind of silly. We're all going to vote together anyway, just about. And, but anyway, we had a great, great friend in Ralph Perk Jr. as well. Um, what I loved about the mayor, besides his accessibility, was that he cared so much for his hometown. And he cared not only about downtown, because he did a lot of fabulous things downtown, but he also cared about the neighborhoods. And he had, because he, he felt he was, he was like your next door neighbor, and people felt very comfortable with him as mayor. They didn't feel this aesthetic distance that sometimes you feel with people in public life. And he had, and I want to mention this, and I'm going to forget people, but he had a fabulous staff, and the head of civil service was none other but Irene Morrow, the greatest, who was his friend, and continue how to give her his round of applause. Um, and a great assistant and very great help in all of uh, the 
uh, nationality movement and carried it on. But we wouldn't be here today either, Irene, if it weren't for you. And now, Ralph, that's great that you're carrying on. But I think of his staff, a terrific law department. Vince Campanella, I saw Dr. Uh, uh, Lewis here, uh, Sue's here. And, and he was just a great guy for the neighborhoods. Ray Paducas, do you remember Ray, who was uh, head of uh, the um, uh, utility division? Uh, Mickey Rainey uh, from Little Italy. And uh, Don Orsini, every time I had a fire in my neighborhood and needed help with the homes, Don Orsini would help me. And we did do terrific things together. Um, he understood city council because he was one of us. And he understood and worked very closely with George Forbes. If you want to see a great example of a separation of, of different uh, kinds of uh, uh, policy, public life rather, but George was the head of council, and the mayor was the mayor, and they worked together. I remember we went all weekend long uh, working on regionalizing uh, RTA. So we would get more, and Terry, you were such a great uh, helper for RTA, getting so much, many funds. Um, one of the things that I admired most, and I wish we still had that today, was his fight against crime in the neighborhoods, something I think is ignored uh, to a great extent. We can talk all about the restaurants in Ohio City and all that jazz, but if people are afraid to go to the West Side Market and walk there, then we have a little problem, don't we? Mayor Perk, any time there was a tragedy in, in, in our city, somebody being killed, he was there to say, I will not tolerate this any longer. We never, we never made the national news about crime or poverty when Ralph Perk was mayor. Um, and in short, I think he was the most caring, and I have to say this, and George and I, George Myers and I were very closely together, but I think Mayor Perk was the best mayor we ever had. Um, I really do. Um, and I think he's the most underrated mayor, too, publicly. We should really do even more in heralding that type of person in public life. I remember when I went to Congress, I was running for Congress, and they, somebody, uh, asked, Ralph Perk was at the Republican National Convention, uh, and they said, who are you going to endorse? Of course, I had a Republican opponent uh, in, the, in the general. And he said, I can't go against Mary Rose O'Connor. And I could never go against him. Because in those days, you really thought about who was the best person. And even after he left office uh, as mayor, Ralph Perk was very concerned about the community. One of the things he asked me to do to help him, he was working with his parish, Our Lady of Lourdes, and he was asking if we could do something to get money for senior buildings, because there were so many seniors that couldn't keep their homes up, but needed a decent place to live. And I said, of course, I would help you. And one time he came to visit me, in, in Washington, and he said, Mary Rose, I have a little speech I want you to give on the House floor. And I said, sure, I'll just attribute it to you. So no, no, attribute it to you. And I said, no, no, I'll attribute it to you. <laughs> anyway, it was about the captive nations. Uh, he was dedicated uh, to freedom for everyone. And I think uh, you are so right, Alex. Uh, this is a world where we still have a lot of people who need that sense of freedom and that sense of drive by, by the American people especially uh, to, to um, assure freedom for everyone. Well, anyway, I would just say I feel that I was very blessed to have known uh, Mayor Perk. 
Uh, and I believe, inshallah, I have to say, say something in Arabic, right? Inshallah, I believe his legacy will live on. Thank you very much.